guys, it's Karen from Water for Acrylics. How are you and Happy New Year. Um, welcome to new subscribers. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I've gained something like 300 new subscribers in the last 10 days. You guys helped me get over the 70K hump. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, tonight is a ex big experiment night, two ways. One is I'm going to do some blooms on a 10 by 20 canvas and I'm not going to tilt and I'm not going to spin. I'm not going to deconstruct them. They're just going to sit there. I'm going to make my, when I put down my pillow, I'm going to stretch it out so it's super thin. So there's no pillow to think of, just the white background. Um, and then two, I am testing out some new pigment colors on behalf of the Fluid Art Co. Um, where we get our, where is it? I have so many. This is one of them. It didn't get used tonight. This is Athena though. This will be in the next video. Um, one of the colors is not available to the general public yet. I'm just testing it so they can see how it behaves. Um, and its fate hasn't been determined yet. So unfortunately, um, I got this color. It's out of the little packet. And I'm going to butcher the spelling. It's ag Agapanthus. Where'd it go? I set it down somewhere. You'll see it in a minute when, when I get you down. Um, so just know that uh, I don't mean to, you know, tease you guys or anything. It's not available yet to the public. The other colors are being released. And one of the new ones I'm using tonight is a beautiful, beautiful light green shade called Parakeet that I'm really excited about. So I'm going to get you down and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, excuse the mess. I've been playing all night. I'm going to try these new piggy colors. The first up is Agapanthus. I hope I'm saying it right. It's this gorgeous shade of purple. We're going to start with that on one of them. No, I'm not. I'm going to start. Am I? No, I'm going to start with Golden's cobalt turquoise now my house paint on here is super thin i've stretched it out because i don't want to really tilt or spin or anything i want to see what happens if i can just bloom blow it out and leave it so we'll see what happens so that was the cobalt turquoise the next new piggy color we have here this is parakeet Love this shade too because it's not it's not like lime green where it's all in your face. This is softer. Super pretty. And then the Agapanthus. I hope I'm seeing that right. And that's the purple. I'm gonna use both black and white cell activator. Hmm, white first or black? That's the million dollar question. Let's do white first and then black. A little bit of white, a little bit of black, and we'll blow this out. All right, I gave a little baby puff in the middle. Want to keep some of that black. I like the contrast. Pretty happy. We're just going to do another one. I want it to overlap a little, so maybe one right there and then one in the corner. But we're just going to leave this as is. This will be a big experiment. 
um, with the house paint, like just like enough to coat the canvas. Like I really, as you can tell by my tarp, I really poured a lot off. Um, so next one, I think we'll do the same order. So we'll do the turquoise. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. I was talking to my husband real quick. All right. The parakeet. Oh my gosh, I love those two together too. Super, super pretty. And did I do black and then white? Or no, I did white and black, right? Yeah. So white. And then the black. All right, blowout number two. Forgot to mention cool air, always, always. Hi, fan. Was I talking the whole time and you guys, I didn't have it on. If I repeat myself, just roll with it. I was talking about, I love this, I love this. I started my third one in the corner, but what I was talking about was how much paint is left. And I was doing a little test with my stick. And if I stick my stick in there, see how it's, where am I? Just on the like very tip of the bevel part of my skewer. Whereas if I go here, it's a little bit deeper, hopefully not too much. I'm gonna to have to figure out what to do about that one little section. Everywhere else, it is so thin that I'm not really worried about it. We'll see. I mean, that's the whole idea of this test. So I got my uh, turquoise down. We'll do the parakeet and then the Agapathonis. I know somebody has to like, I gotta look it up. I'll look it up and how you say it. I should have done that before I put the video on. So white then black. What do I keep forgetting? I think it's white then black. Which I'm glad I'm doing two cell activators because it's making a nice little contrast. So all right, last blowout of the night, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, uh, this is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. So 
when I pick it up, like if I was going to tilt it, like if I was going to do a deconstructed bloom, um, the parts that always have the most paint are in between the blooms. So this part right here and this little part right here. And I know the handles are on the sides. These handles do not fit the uh, 10 by 20 canvases. Did I mention that already? I might go over the place tonight. Um, I'm distracted. So, um, but they fit here. So I'll stand at the bottom of my canvas. And like, if I went to tilt, none of those blooms are going to move because there's no house paint left for it to go. The only thing that really even gives a wiggle are, is that area and that area. So I'm gonna grab um, like the skinniest palette knife I have and maybe scoop some out of there. I don't know, I'll be right back. You know what I really, really need is a pipette so I could just suck some of that out. And I, I just like, spent five minutes going through my art junk drawer um, and I don't have one and I'm like bummed because I would just go and be done because the rest of it is so um, thin and I have my little rubber thing and maybe I just try to push some off or push well I just kind of went for it didn't I I don't know if that's going to do anything. It doesn't seem all that uh, thick there. I don't like the way that looks now. I liked it better just white. Maybe I leave it and then she sticks her pellet knife in it <laughs> and just make a little, now I made a big divot, which is deliberate because I'm hoping it fills up with that leftover paint, you know, that it'll fill in on its own there and I'm going to do it one other spot. It's almost, I almost wish like it wasn't so pretty because then I wouldn't be invested and it would be, I wouldn't care if the experiment fails. I'm going to be bummed if this experiment fails. So I'm just going to leave those holes of white there and let it fill up with paint all by itself. I just got to be careful not to drip. And I might just do this here and just do this because I'm better with my, I'm always better with my fingers and just take a bunch out. Kind of like what I do with Sew Activator. Make sure it doesn't drip into the art. Kind of soft. I think I want to marry these two up. So I'm going to take out some more white right here. And just leave that be soft right there. And maybe right here too. Let me see what that looks like. That looks fine. I'm going to leave that there. This is filling up. I like the way that looks. I think I am going to call it and say ta-da. Get you guys down for a close-up. And this is going to be like the big tease because I'm going to put up this video tomorrow and you're not going to see the dry results for a day or two, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you down. All right, I just left it in place. Sorry, guys, my other counter has stuff on it. Um, I'll be sure to highlight the blinginess of the pigments uh, in the when I show you the dry results in the next video. But here's like the bottom coming up. 
really glad. I love the color combo. And uh, I'm really glad I used two cell activators. There's the line area I was working on. Just like that, I just love that. The middle of this one here. So this would be a really interesting experiment to see. Um, this was my favorite part that I had a cream into right there. Love that. And then this little bloom at the top. Let me turn it so you can see. And, oh my gosh, super pretty, right? I like love it. All right, let me flip around and chat, chat a second. Hey guys, it's about a week later, so I am able to show the dried results. I never did get this video up when I wanted to. Um, a couple things real quick is I ended up having to tilt a little bit side to side because what happened is about 15 minutes after I stopped filming, the center part started to pull a little bit and the blooms, it wasn't, the, like I was all worried about the areas in between. That part was fine. It was the center part of the blooms that started to, to puddle on me. So I just moved it side to side. I actually got like a really cool effect here and I think it's super pretty. <laughs> and I like how it matches my African violets. There's the top of the painting. Um, trying to get the bling. Um, of the purple that's called Agapanthus. It's not available yet. I'm sorry about that. I was testing it. Whoops. <laughs> Don't press on the painting. Um, and the other color that's super pretty and blingy is the uh, parakeet um, combined with the cobalt turquoise from Golden. Super pretty. Here's the bottom bloom right there. I'm really, really digging this color combo and that center bloom and then coming up to the top one super pretty um definitely resin worthy i think maybe even frame too i like to see that in like a maybe a black and silver frame or silver for sure i don't know um i'm not going to flip around this and I don't want to really talk about it either, but I'll just mention it real quick that um, I didn't get this video up for so long because uh, I spent the first part of the new year dealing with my golden retriever, Dusty, who's been incredibly sick and has just been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And um, you just don't feel like painting or being particularly feeling inspired when you're super bummed out about a family member. So i um, not sure when the next video will be. I hope to see you all soon. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, peace and love to you all. Peace out.